When a woman spotted this baby creature in desperate need, she immediately called for help. After following the puppy for quite some time, Gwen Maxwell was sure something was wrong. However, nothing could have ever prepared her for what she was about to see. As she finally got close to the little animal, it became clear that he'd been involved in a terrible accident. Maxwell decided to take an early morning walk in her neighborhood in Arizona. As she stepped outside of her front door, though, pretty unusual, there was a little pup running across the deserted street. So she decided to follow the animal for a while to see where it was heading. However, the pup seemed skittish and quickly hid in some bushes to the side of Maxwell's house. The little animal remained there for hours, and when it finally re-emerged, Maxwell became aware of the true scale of the predicament. You see, the critter was not a dog but a coyote, and painful choya cactus covered the animal's body. The awful sight was deeply upsetting for Maxwell. The excruciating spikes had impaled the poor creature's knees, legs, and shoulders. That's when Maxwell called on a neighbor for help. Soon, Sean Bordine and Jose Soto, two workers from nearby Pebblebrook Golf Course, arrived on the scene. However, so did the little coyote's mother. The helpless animal looked on as her baby writhed around in agony. Soto and Bordeen did everything they could to help the small pup. Indeed, Soto donned a pair of thick gloves and held the frightened coyote still. Meanwhile, Bordeen used a pair of pliers to remove each individual needle from the animal's skin. Despite what must have been an awful ordeal, the coyote happily let the strangers help him. It was as though he knew they had kind intentions. As Jose held him, I was able to pull the stickers out of its mouth. Coyotes are common throughout the state of Arizona, and some people consider the animals to be pests. That's because they can carry dangerous diseases and have been known to attack farm animals. In some states, it's legal to shoot and trap problem coyotes. And because of the close proximity between humans and coyotes, people tend to be wary of these wild animals. However, attacks on humans are not common. But luckily for this little coyote, people were more than happy to help in his hour of need. The dangerous Choya cactus spines likely weighed more than the pup itself. Soto and Bordine checked the little coyote over before releasing him once more. Then they spotted his family over on the Pebblebrook golf course, so to give him the best possible chance of survival. I'm glad we were able to help, because I hate to see an animal down. It would have killed me if we didn't do anything. I have a dog, and I'd want somebody to help it if my dog was hurt. Thanks to their actions, the two men were inundated with kind comments online. Such a heartwarming story. You guys are great for helping him. One Facebook user wrote, added another, happy to see the little guy's okay. Bless the maintenance crew. The rescue also sparked a friendship between the three rescuers. Pebblebrook golf course workers Sean Bordine and Jose Soto have made a good friend in Sun City West. Thanks to all three of you, the post continued, you're three of the many reasons Sun City West is a fantastic place to live, work, and play. Soto and Bordine pledged to keep an eye on the coyote's progress. And just hours after his agonizing ordeal, the team spotted the pup with his father. The doting dad licked his baby's wounds and played with him a bit to cheer him up. 